everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're going to talk about several types of rice so you know a little bit about them when you go to shop and decide that you want to use something different for a change. Alright, today we're going to start with Aborio rice. Aborio rice is a medium grain rice and has a little white dot in the center of each grain. That's something that other types of rice just don't have does have a high starch content that gives it a little bit of a chewy texture and a sticky consistency and it's creamy when it's cooked. So a Boreo rice is really good for risotto and rice pudding and soups and stews. Basmati rice is a long grain rice that cooks up with dry separate kernels. It does have a bit of a nutty popcorn like flavor to it. Basmati rice is different than other rices in the sense that it gets its rich flavor from one year of aging before it's actually put on the market. That is different than the other varieties of rice. It's commonly used in Indian and Asian cuisines. It can be served plain or combined with a variety of seasonings. Basmati rice is ideal for dal, curry, and saffron rice. Brown rice comes in short and long grains, has a chewy texture and a nutty flavor when it's cooked. The bran layer and the germ layers are left intact so it's tan in color and it provides all the nutrients that nature originally provided in the rice. It is a 100% whole grain food. Okay, it's light and it's fluffy when it's cooked and the grains do not stick together. It's great for stuffed peppers, casseroles, stir fries, and rice pilaf. Now, brown rice also comes in a short grain version and that type is starchier and it sticks together very well when it's cooked and so it's suitable for dishes where you would want rice to clump together. Well, I do hope this answers your question about those types of rice. Stay tuned, I'll have more about other types of rice as well. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.